And how'd you rock the GoPro on the chest for the whole session? What's up guys, uh, Aaron here. So we're on the field. We're at Damien High School here in Laverne, California. Um, typically this man drives over an hour and 15 minutes, 15 minutes each way from Thousand Oaks. Um, but to formally introduce Colby Wadman to the Denver Broncos, uh, today we're doing more traditional kind of open field punting. Um, obviously everything being directional. Uh, anything you specifically want to focus on today or you kind of just uh, want to get a good session in? Just getting a good session in and just working on consistency, keeping that ball uh, where it needs to be and making sure I'm hitting the right punt every time. Yep, right punt is super, super important guys. So like I said, almost everything, actually everything today we do will be directional. So um, he's about to get a warm up in and then uh, we'll get back to you guys soon. So you guys know this man, always doing drops. Loves him a good drop. Love drops. If we're doing a session at eight, this man's usually out here by like 7.50, I come out and somewhere in the corner, he's on his knee doing drops. Stays after and does more, gets his hands. So I mean, when you guys talk about repetitive practice, I wouldn't even call it practice, perfect practice. This guy makes sure everyone is good. So it's, it's kind of fun to watch because I'm always like, where's Colby? Or yep, there he is over there doing drops. So we've got our warm-up sets in. We've gone right and left in each direction on the field. Um, typically now what we'll do on an open field punt day uh, is we call it staircasing. Uh, you want to explain what that is? Yeah, uh, it's just basically putting the ball at different spots in the field so you're not kicking from the same spot. Not really getting into a rhythm and you can just work on hitting your spot depending on where you're at the field, on the field. It just kind of varies it up, guys. I mean, obviously it's uh, a lot of teams, high school level, college level. Um, we'll punt from the same spot every time because they're working on coverage or working on you know, uh, simple reps, whatever it may be. But when we're out here, we want to make it as game-like as possible. So we'll just move the ball around, um, just like an offense or defense would do. And it kind of changes things on where we're aiming and, and uh, you know, just being consistent from different spots in the field. So here we go. So you guys, um, 
that was a, a good indication of just um, kind of what we do in a typical training session on an open field day. A um, couple of key things, you know, obviously we're trying to hit our spot. Um, we're trying to have, you know, for him, it's, it's pretty much to the point where most drops are good, right? The footwork is good. There are a few little things here and there where a step may not get to a certain point or whatever, but for the most part, you guys, you know, all that stuff is good. It's more of just repeating perfect habits, you know, repeating, you know, perfect thought processes before a punt, you know, getting into the into the groove and making sure every punt is uh, is is a standalone, right? Every punt is, is your best, best performance. Um, so again, it's typically basically what we'll do is just go uh, open field directional punts. You know, 20 minutes of that was a warm up. So we're obviously not marathoning. We're not out here for a super long time. Um, it's very efficient. It's very structured. Um, about how many balls you typically kick in a day, you think, on a typical practice day? Typical, probably close to 50, 50, 60. 50, 60. When we're out together, we'll probably hit. Like a lot. 80, yeah, we'll probably hit 80. Um, and part of that, you guys, is conditioning his leg. Yeah. I mean, training camp is coming up uh, in about a month. So, you know, part of that is conditioning your body to go through the grinds of a, of a training camp on a long season. But you guys heard from him, 50, 60, um, and everything's directional, I presume. Yeah. I, I haven't hit a straight ball in forever. Yeah. The ball down the middle. Yeah, so you, as you can tell, there is no straight balls. Um, so, you know, we're gonna kind of uh, close out the day here, do a few more little things, and we'll get back to you guys in a little bit for a Q&A. All right guys, so typically, or so for a day like today, you've seen what we typically do um, on our open field day, right? So Wednesday, a couple of days ago, we did more specialty punts, Aussie punts, um, you know, directional Aussie work, etc. And then today was more traditional punting um, with a little bit of uh, different kinds of balls at the end. Um, but I just kind of wanted you guys to get a glimpse. When we train, it's very serious, right? As you can tell, my man on camera, uh, it's not that he's shy, right? It's just that we're super dialed in, super focused. I mean. Like I said, he makes a little over a two hour journey to come out here round trip. So when we do it, it's very focused, it's very um, structured. Um, but you guys saw a little bit of obviously how strong he is. Um, I'm sure on the film, you guys will hear a little bit of kind of our thought process uh, without giving away too much, obviously with respect to, you know, where he is and the organization and everything. But, um, you know, typically at the end of a session, we'll get some holding, we'll get some field goal holding, um, and then we're gonna bring the Q and A. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of looking at what a typical day is like. We've hit about 60 balls, maybe, maybe 70 today. Um, but everything has been super spot on, super detailed. Um, he holds himself to a super high standard. So um, I'm glad you guys got a chance to see that. Uh, I asked you guys last night on via my Instagram at the Punt Factory, which I'll, I'll have uh, Cosme put down here. Um, but I had you guys ask me some questions or any questions you guys wanted to ask Colby. Um, and I got some responses via Instagram and, and Snapchat. So what we're gonna do is just kind of go through a rapid fire um, question and answer with him and just kind of see what he responds. So, stretching techniques. Stretching techniques. I mean, for my pre-kicking stretching routine, I usually do like a dynamic warm-up. I'll do A skips, uh, like lunge, uh, lateral lunge. I'll go through do like a walking quad or like leg kicks, I guess. I never do anything really static anymore. It's mostly just dynamic, get the blood flow going. Uh, and then I just kind of go through it after that. Sweet. What are some ways to improve consistency in your drop? Honestly, just do your drop. That's literally all I can say about that is just walk, find a line and just walk the line like I don't know, like 50 times and just drop and try and hit the same exact spot on the line every single time, making sure the ball's falling, falling flat, falling, hitting where you want it to. Pre-game routine from entering stadium to kickoff. Entering stadium to kickoff. Well, I usually go in, change into my clothes, throw some headphones on, listen, listen to some music, uh, go out, warm up, hit a few balls, come back in, just get ready for the game, throw my pads on, then go back out and just start hitting bombs. Favorite part of playing in the league? Favorite part of playing in the league? Definitely just the atmosphere of NFL stadiums. I mean, as most of you guys know, I came from a smaller school where it was maybe 6,000 people at the games at most. And now it's, what, over 10 times that for some of the games I'm at. So just the atmosphere, just sitting back and just enjoying that is definitely my favorite part. 
Do you kick footballs every day of the week during season? No, we only kick, outside of game day, I only kick twice a week. Perfect. So, favorite pregame meal? Pre-game meal, probably pasta. I like carb loading. Oh, carb yeah, loading. Carb loading, whatever, carb loading. I, would, I also like carb loading. Yep. Um, so, this is a little more complex, answer how you want, but like, how many routine kicking schedule during the week? Um, how much time, how much do you kick? And then recovery wise, what's like a basic, just a skeleton structure? So usually three days a week. I'm going right now, I'm going Monday, Wednesday, Friday at this point. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, I usually just go out and do some drops, just work on technique. Recovery wise, usually when I'm at the facility, I go back into the ice, get a, take an ice bath, roll out, stretch. And then after that, usually rest the rest of the day. What are some workouts high schoolers should be doing? Is there any favorite lifts you have or things that you, you know, if you could go I, back and, and didn't do them again, you would do them more? Yeah, I love doing explosive lifts. Okay. I'm at the point where, I mean, squats obviously are still great, but I love doing like jumps or cleans or anything like that to make your legs fire more elastically, elastically okay. than like, uh, so it, yeah, so just more explosive. Okay, more explosives. Um, typical workout for strengthening your legs. So give me three workouts you do, three uh, three exercises you do, uh, just a little bit more specifically, that you would like to do. That I would like to do? Yeah. I like squat, clean, box jumps, uh, lunges are great, get that single leg work, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. And then for the last one here, I have, okay, this is a good one. This is from my boy, Matt, Gain uh, Matt Ganyard. So any recommendations for training the mental side of the game, whether it's handling the pressure of a big punt, flushing a recent bad punt or blocking out your own doubts or negative thoughts. You know, just take us through a little bit uh, mentally. Is there anything you do specifically or, or any tips for the guys out there watching this? I just try to push everything out and just imagine myself out here just on a regular practice where it's just be by myself. You just go out there and I just think, you know what, I'm gonna pick that spot and just say, I'm gonna hit the best punt I can to that point. Right, so you guys, again, you see today a little bit from the film, it's just simple, right? It's, it's taking repetitive good footwork, repetitive good drops, and again, each one's individual, right? So you can come out and walk your steps on good angles, good lines. You can also do, like he said, 50, 60, 70 drops before and after practice, right? And then when you punt, it's just putting them all together and developing a rhythm, right? So um, as you can tell, again, it's it's at this level, you know, you don't really have time to rebound from a bad punt. You kind of have to do it now. Um, and the ones that make a career out of it are the ones that can do that the best. Um, you know, anything else you want to say? I mean, again, I know you go on vacation next week. You're going to take some time to get away. Um, anything else you want to say to the guys in terms of when, if, if the average person watches this video and they see you, and then they're going to look at you, obviously play on Sundays. You know, is there anything you want people to know about you? Anything about your journey um, that you would say has helped you get to this point? Yeah, I mean, for a lot of guys that are trying to play in college, for yeah, it's great to go D1, but if, if your ultimate goal is to play in the NFL at some point, it's not a necessity because 45 yards is 45 yards. Like I went to UC Davis, which I didn't even know that place existed until they gave me a call. So I mean, just getting that opportunity to play college football is just that next step. And whether it's at a D2 or you're playing at LSU, big SEC school, you can still ultimately get to the NFL. It's just up to you and how much work you want. I agree. So you guys, again, I hope you like today. Again, this is Colby Wadman. He's uh, active and not too active on social media. Nope. So you could definitely give him a follow, but he might not ever even look at it uh, because that's just how he always been. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, make sure you guys follow my uh, uh, social media so you can see when him and I are training, um, kind of the stuff a little bit more behind the scenes. I post a lot of kind of slow-mo videos of him. Um, again, if you ever have questions for Colby or anything like that, you can feel free to message me and I'll try and get them along to him. Um, but like he said, this man next week, well-deserved is going on vacation, getting out of town, and we're not gonna talk the whole week until he gets back and we'll probably get some more work in, so I'll be posting that. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching this. Again, make sure you guys follow along my journey, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching this video, guys. To continue along with this journey and watch this channel grow, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel.